Hello friends, uh, this is the reasoning question. Let's see what the question is. A steroid treatment should not be stopped abruptly. Explain why. Whenever for some disease uh, steroids are being administered, exogenously steroid uh, being administered, it should not be stopped. The treatment should not be stopped abruptly. Explain why. Now, uh, let's see some principles uh, in the steroid therapy. A single dose of steroids, even excessive, is not harmful. Short courses of steroids are also uh, generally not harmful if adequate care is taken. Uh, but if the steroids are being administered for prolonged durations, then yes, one has to be careful about the possible side effects and the treatment should not be stopped abruptly. When do you administer steroids? Generally in uh, chronic inflammatory conditions. You know steroids are excellent anti-inflammatories and therefore uh, the conditions like ulcerative colitis, cholecystitis, malignancies or uh, even uh, the certain COPDs. Steroids are administered for prolonged durations. In that case, one has to be very very careful while stopping the treatment. Withdrawal should be in a tapering manner. Steroids should be withdrawn in a tapering doses manner. That is gradually reduce the dose and then uh, eventually smaller smaller doses and then stop it completely. So uh, why is this required? Let's understand this. Look. Uh, you know there is HPA axis, hypothalamo pituitary adrenal gland axis, where uh, corticotropin releasing hormone uh, from the hypothalamus, then corticotropin from the anterior pituitary and then glucocorticoids are secreted from the adrenal cortex gland under the influence of these two. Now, uh, when you administer exogenous steroids, it's going to cause a negative feedback inhibition of the anterior pituitary and hypothalamus. That is, uh, these two will be suppressed. Now, uh, adrenal gland will no more produce the glucocorticoids when you are administering the steroids from uh, as a treatment exogenously administered. It is said that adrenal gland goes into a nap. Uh, it is taking a nap. It's not producing steroids. Now, what happens is, sudden stoppage of the steroids, adrenal gland cannot immediately start producing the glucocorticoids. It will take some time to come out of that negative feedback inhibition uh, of the HPA axis. So, uh, if steroids are stopped abruptly, then it may lead to something called as adrenal crisis. Uh, adrenal gland is not producing glucocorticoids and steroids have been stopped uh, from outside. So, no steroids, no glucocorticoids in the body. You know, glucocorticoids perform various functions in the body, including being anti inflammatory and uh, other functions. So, uh, adrenal crisis, it is a medical emergency and it may be even life threatening. Uh, there will be low blood pressure and it may result in fainting. There is extreme weakness, fever possibly because you know steroids, they suppress the pyrogens, they suppress the fever. So, uh, there is there are no glucocorticoids in the body. In that case, there will be fever, pain, body ache, loss of consciousness and other features of adrenal crisis. And therefore, there should be a gradual withdrawal uh, of steroids in tapering doses and this will allow the adrenal gland to start producing glucocorticoids. Gradually, it will restart its uh, function of production of the glucocorticoids and that is the reason why steroids, uh, if they are being given for prolonged durations, should never, never be stopped abruptly.